Why do you leave me? Hey everyone, it's Wildman, and in today's video, we are going to be taking another dive into the channel known as Dr. Nowhere, with the latest installment in the series called The Boy in the Bath, which also happens to be the creator of the Boiled One phenomenon. And so in this video, I also wanted to cover the other videos on the channel, because there are some pretty terrifying videos when we go more in depth into the channel. But before we begin, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, as well as liking the video and commenting, bruh, as usual, that helps me out a lot for some reason. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So the first video on the channel is called TOE, also known as Toe, with the description saying, Trapped. And when we get into the video, we can see a person standing behind a glass cage, banging on the glass, begging to be let out. All the while, you can hear the strained breaths the person is taking, alluding to the state of being that they are in. <laughs> And as the title suggests, the person is starving. And on the walls behind the person, we can also see what looks to be dried blood. So just to speculate as to what is happening here, we can assume that this person was kidnapped and put behind this glass cage, begging to be let free. It's also very likely that the person did not look like this when they were first put into that cage, but due to a lack of sunlight, food, and perhaps some other sinister altercations that were done to them by their kidnapper, they now resemble the form of a sleep paralysis demon. And something else that I did want to note about this video is the breaths that the person is taking. The breaths sound extremely strained, like they are struggling to breathe. <laughs> So a little theory that I had is that there also may be a lack of oxygen in the cage. Kind of similar to what happened to Deadpool in the first movie where Wade Wilson is in a tank, given just enough oxygen to keep him alive, but it feels like he is perpetually choking. Again, this is all just me speculating on this very short video, and as we get further into the other videos on the channel, things will start to make a little bit more sense. The next video on the channel is called Has This Ever Happened To You? All The Lights. In this unnerving video, it takes the form of what I can only assume to be some sort of infomercial. Has this ever happened to you? However, as to who is distributing this commercial is unknown. The tape begins to tell you if the following has ever happened to you, referring to something incredibly unsettling. It's getting dark outside. You are getting ready for bed. Grabbing a cold glass of water, and now you are turning off all the lights in the house. Do you feel that? Or maybe hear that? That sinking feeling that something is following you as soon as you turn off the lights? Well, worry not. After the tape asks you if you've experienced the phenomenon of something you heard in your house in the middle of the night, or even being slightly touched by something, it tells you that there is a solution to this strange experience that you've faced. The solution, however, is far from the answer, and perhaps something far darker. Because it's then when the boiled one interrupts the tape and tells you the following. We have a brilliant solution. The boiling one telling you that there is nothing that follows you after you turn off all the lights in the house, resulting in this incredibly disturbing feeling that what you say and what you heard is not real, and that it's all in your head, because that's what the entity told you, and because no one else will believe you. After this, the broadcast reverts back to normal, however it's doing the same thing, attempting to convince you that you are the one that's losing your grip on reality, and this is all in your head. There is nothing that follows there you is nothing after you turn off you. all the there lights in the house. There is nothing that follows you after you turn off all the lights in the house. that follows you after you turn off all the lights in the house.
The next video on the channel is called TLE Love Thumper. And in this one, we revisit the person from the first video on the channel, an entity known as Toe. In the video, we see Toe again as he appears on the television screen. He's been trapped there for who knows how long and is starving. Hello? The person witnessing this asks the entity what it wants, however there isn't much of a response from the figure. All that can be heard are the strained breaths coming from T.O.E. What do you want? What do you want? However, when the person asks him to go away, this happens. Please go away. Please go away. Go! And after Toe breaks free from the television, he stalks the person recording from behind one of the doors in the home, which results in this incredibly haunting segment. Toe attacks the person recording the footage and most likely devours them. Because after starving for so long, this is the best food it's had in ages. And the last segment in the video explains that the body appeared untouched. And I did try to rack my brain around as to what this really means, and the only thing that I could come up with is that this is what an officer said when they arrived to the person's home. Saying that the body remained untouched, however the person was unalived, and they can't determine how. But yeah, that's kind of what I thought, but feel free to let me know your guys' thoughts on this as well. I also thought that it may be possible that the entity ate the person's soul rather than their physical form, which is why the person is still there when the authorities arrive, however is unalived. In this next tape called TLE Making Friends, we're once again uncovering more about this strange entity known as Toe. The tape begins and tells you the following, time to rise and shine, good children are up bright and early, good children play pretend. And then we are shown a drawing of what I'm assuming are two children playing together. Good children do not play with their food until it is all gone. Good children make friends. <laughs> After being shown this beating heart located in the same room that Toe was trapped in, the tape only continues to get more unsettling, as we are brought to this early 2000s webpage called Pen Palace. On the site we can also see that it says, connect in seconds, pals for life. And this whole thing seems to be an online chat website similar to Omegle or Kick. There's also an ad for this tape that we were just watching called Smilehood. The old, original, the young you. It's very strange and I can't really tell what this product is other than it looks like a DVD set. But then the ad switches and it says, for government personnel viewing only. But before it can begin, the person begins chatting with Dominic and their conversation goes as follows. Yeah man, what's up? It's been like forever. Okay, seriously, I thought you were dead or something. Look, we've been online friends for a while now. Yes. Best friends. Yeah. Hey look, I know it's none of my business, but it feels like you've been acting really distant lately. You've been going through something? If so, I'm here and you can talk to me, man. 
Okay, and at this point in the conversation, just based on how the chat is already going, it's pretty clear that the person that Dominic is chatting with is Toe rather than his friend. And the person that he thinks that it is, is most likely the person that was unalived by Toe in the last video, and has now taken the persona of the unalived friend. Also, in every title that it involves Toe, the title does have periods between words, and that's exactly how Toe is messaging. Like I said, it's none of my beeswax, and you don't have to say nothing. But do you need something? Face call, please. Video call? It's almost like 1am where I am, man. Whack time zones, remember? Please. Now. Seriously, are you good? Like I said, I'm here if you want to talk. I know you started that new school recently and it was whack. Okay, yes. Talk. Face. Hey, no, seriously, I can't. Really sorry, but tomorrow, okay? Please let me, friend. Seriously, are you alright, Dom? Please, please, please. Whoa, 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 okay. Please. Not cool, man. What the heck? Okay, okay. Please just be as quiet as possible. Like, whisper. Yes. My mom's a light sleeper, remember? Starving. Help. Please. Now, nah, though, I swear if this is a weird prank, hated those. They were never fun. And Dominic being incredibly concerned for the well-being of his friend, given his strange messages and being so persistent to call, he gives in and accepts Dom's video chat request. Nothing of it makes any sense. Everything inside was gone. The description of this video stating, it's a kid in there. Alright, so the next video on the channel does bring us up to date and is called the Boiled One Phenomenon. However, we did cover that video in this video right here. And because we already did, I'm just going to be doing a quick recap. So if you do want to skip it, it's right here. And if you do want the full video, again, it's right here as well. So within the Boiled One Phenomenon, it begins by telling you to ensure you have the following within your vicinity, referring to earplugs, a pencil, a sheet of paper, and a standard Christian Bible open to Psalms 91.10. And this is all to prevent the entity from coming into your home, as you're about to watch the footage that invited it into the homes of others. And what we're shown is this old TV program that has been off the air for some time now, however it just randomly re-aired out of nowhere. And what is shown on air is far from what the original program was. Poison Oak has many different names and places of origin, also referred to as the Tree of Heaven. Can you imagine that? This broadcast would hereby be known as Broadcast 813. After this cursed broadcast was aired, roughly 530 residents of the southern Pennsylvania area that were unfortunate enough to have witnessed this interruption were seriously affected. One victim claiming that, quote, the face was living in his brain and feeding on his spine. Another described trumpets playing in their ears before they fell asleep. What's even darker is that after witnessing this broadcast known as 813, out of the 530 people who saw it, 509 of them developed a rare condition called pseudocoma, also known as locked-in syndrome. This leaves those affected to be conscious but unable to move or communicate verbally due to complete paralysis of all voluntary muscles in the body except for vertical eye movements and blinking. And the only way that they can communicate at this point is through Morse code by blinking their eyes. And one of the people that they interviewed regarding this strange broadcast was a person named Zamperini, and he talks about what he experienced. Okay, first and uh, foremost, did you notice any onset symptoms before you lost complete mobility of your body? Face, huh? Hmm. When did you begin seeing this face? Interesting. Many of the people who have seen the broadcast that you saw on August the 13th described having vivid and upsetting hallucinations. Do you think this is something your brain has created? Can you please describe this face to me? 
I, uh, I still don't see it. Have you been having any hallucination aside from the face? I'm sorry to hear that. Are these screams constant? Thank you. You shedding light on this is helping more than you know. The final video on the channel is called The Boy and the Bath, and it might be the most unnerving video on the channel. The video begins by stating, Your body remains unclean from the toils of yesterday. You are in no condition to sleep like this. A shower will make you feel better. Making their way throughout this grim home, the person finds themselves heading to the bathroom, saying, but it wasn't my fault. And when they open the door, what they see is an incredibly disturbing sight, as a pale, thin creature with no jaw greets them. The person closes the door and goes back to bed, but when they stare at the crib, the creature reappears. I know you heard me. It was all your fault. Now this video is a completely separate project from the other videos on the channel, but regardless it's still incredibly unsettling. With no use of jump scares and only a few words spoken in the video, it tells an incredibly grim tale of an irresponsible parent, the description stating, a short film about guilt. The boy in the bath is about a negligent parent who didn't shower their child until it was absolutely necessary. As they say, your body remains unclean from the toils of yesterday. However, when they put the child in the bath, they simply forgot that they were there, and the child ends up. It is incredibly dark, and it's even worse that the parent says, but it wasn't my fault, as if they are still convinced that they are innocent of the atrocity they just committed. And unable to live with their own guilt, it has taken the form of this disturbing creature that will now haunt them for the rest of their days. And yes, please be sure to support Dr. Nowhere over on their channel right here. Dr. Nowhere also has a Patreon, and they're also dropping this really cool plushie of the boiled one, so be sure to check that out. And as always, huge thank you to all of my channel members, as well as my ultimate tiers, Dreadator, Kareem Adiano, Alejandro from the Tower, K Pop Lover X3, and 1998. If you want to support me in early access to videos, it's only $1.99. And yeah, I'll see you later. Bye. Love you.